I bought one of those cool Ortur YRR rotary devices so that you can laser etch on round items. Uh, and I have an Ortur Laser Master 2 um, laser machine. And uh, hooking up the rotary device is kind of a mystery. There's like a million videos online that explain to you how to build it. But nobody shows you how to set the thing up so it prints exactly as you intend it to print. So I'm using a program called uh, Lightburn. And one of the things you want to do is you want to enable the rotary device. And I believe that you find that in preferences. And um, yeah, uh, show rotary enable on main window. The next thing you want to do is you want to go to tools, we'll make that edit, machine settings, and you want to turn off your soft limits. This is set to true. And I turned the homing cycle off too. That was also set to true. Uh, before you make any changes though, you want to save this thing and call it default machine settings. And then I, once I made my changes, I saved one called rotary settings. So make sure you turn off the, the soft limits and turn off the homing cycle as well here too. So then what you do is you take an item. I took a piece of 7 8 inch dowel. Uh, probably the bigger the item, the better, but, uh, you know, uh, round and round math is all the same. So I, I feel pretty comfortable with what I've done. So then you want to come over here to rotary setup under the tools menu. And you measure the diameter of the rollers on the YRR or tour device. I came up with uh, 0.81 inches with a pair of dial calipers. And uh, then you want to measure the diameter of the object. I came up with 0 0.877 inches. And it, you can do this in millimeters. If you go back to the preferences, there's a millimeters setting as well, too. I have mine set to inches. Um, so at any rate, that gives you a circumference of the item that you want to etch as being 2.755 inches. So what I did in light burn was I made a rectangle that was 2.755 inches long and this, if you wrapped it around, it would wrap around the circumference of the dowel rod. And then I made, uh, I turned it off so I wasn't printing that block right there. And then I made another block that was much smaller and that's this one right here. I put it on a separate layer and I set it to output. And it is also 2.755 inches long. So once you get it all set up, then you just want to come over here, frame it up, make sure you're going to be burning where you want to burn, and then hit start. And once that laser starts cranking, you will see exactly uh, whether it lines up or not. So let's say you roll it and it falls short. There's a big gap in the middle. This doesn't stretch all the way around. You go to Tools rotary set up again and you change your rotary axis number until you draw this line right here and it ends up touching uh, on the circumference so i had mine originally set to 64 and i found that while i was playing around with this 63.5 is like a perfect setting for what i'm doing so that's it it's just a matter of trial and error get your circumference draw your circumference on a 2D plane, uh, make another little cut line or a cut box, make sure it's the same length, and then cut it. If it's too short, make that rotary number bigger. If it's too long, make it smaller. Just play with it until you get it right. Then finally, this is what the end result looks like. I just took a scrap piece of dowel and then I made the burn. And here's where the lines meet. Uh, I just kept tweaking that and kept tweaking that until I got a perfect uh, meeting of the lines there. So that's how you set your Ortur YRR rotary device up. Hope you learned something.